Got a ticket. Got one of these lovely tickets at the booth back there. Sounds like there's uh, <laughs> someone sliding by. <laughs> Hi friends, if you've been following our YouTube channel for a while, you know that we absolutely love living, working, and playing in Southern Utah, but summertime can get a little hot. In these last couple of years, by the end of June, early July, temps get a little unbearable. So we wanted to share a video with you to show you how we are dealing with the heat and the summertime burnout. So join us for a trip to beautiful Park City. Meshwan and I decided to beat the burnout by taking a little road trip and continuing to work from home or work from home on the road, we decided to stay in this beautiful Airbnb provided by Rove that accommodates several workstations. And we'll also share some of the things that we've done on this trip. So hopefully that'll inspire you to either get out of the heat and make a trip to beautiful Park City or at least explore some of the options of beating the heat if you're considering moving in the area. Friends, and if you're thinking about moving into this area, this is practically what we do. If you're thinking about moving to Northern or Southern Utah, Michonne and I would absolutely love to be of service to you. We have an entire team of real estate agents that can help you in any region of this beautiful state. But if you have any questions, just email us, call us, shoot us a DM. We absolutely love hearing from our viewers and our subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to smash that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's take a look at this beautiful property. I can't wait to show you guys. This is way, way overkill for what we needed for this weekend, but it worked out kind of perfect because we were able to stay here for a while, play, work, and we actually never even used the first floor of this property. So this home I think is like 4,000 square feet. It's located in Park City, just like minutes away from downtown. This first floor, this is probably the second or third time I'm ever opening this door. <laughs> so this downstairs space has, it's kind of like its own, uh, it's own living space, which we have seriously not even used this. So you have a little living room, downstairs in a canyon area, and it's connected through the garage to the main house, but it can be locked away. So if you're planning a trip with like multiple family members, or you have a large family, this may really be the way to go, but and take a look at that. And it has its own bathroom. So it's like a, basically a one bedroom apartment down here. So you've got a full bath. It's kind of a cool, trendy looking sink. And then you have a double, what are those? Single beds, fools? I don't know, they're pretty small. And each bedroom in this home has a workstation. There's so many of these. Uh, this company called Rove that manages these Airbnbs provides you with a workstation that has usually a USB hub and you can just put your laptop here and continue to work. With Pretty much the entire time that we have been here, aside from playing and exploring beautiful Park City, I was able to work on things thanks to Rove for providing these uh, workstations. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Rove. I am just really impressed with how well they equipped these properties. And you know, this is really a cool solution. I guess this is something that took off during COVID because so many people were, you know, just being able to take off, leave the office and work from anywhere, which is also the reason why so many people have moved to Southern Utah because their workplace allowed for them to pretty much work from anywhere. But I'm not gonna bore you guys with this super long tour of this property. I just kinda wanted to show you some of the main areas and these really cool views. So I'll just kinda go through it really quick, but I wanted to show you how incredible the views out here are. We're actually about to check out and it looks like 
the landscaping company just showed up, so these guys are contributing to my audio. So this house is kind of cool. It was built in all one, but it kind of still has a lot of the cool like, wood trim accents, and it's a, it's a tri-level house, so this takes us down to the garage and the downstairs unit that we just saw. This kitchen looks like it's been fully remodeled. Say hello to Diesel. <coughs> D, say hello. How do you like it here? You love it? These guys have been having ball. Meatball's nickname is the HOA manager, so here you can see him in action patrolling his HOA. With this backyard spanning for miles, these guys stayed entertained for hours. Whether they're patrolling through this back window or on one of the many balconies, it was a blast for them. They don't get to spend as much time outside in St. George because it's not exactly bulldog weather. And you get views from literally every window here. And there are decks on like literally every level of this home. Beautiful granite countertops, nice gas appliances, more views. There's a deck with a barbecue outside. And I am a huge fan of these cabin style um, A-frame type windows. So this just gives us incredible views out to the backyard. Landscapers just showed up. This entire patio has just nice pavers. A little chill area right there, the bench. And it has a hot tub right next to the house. Okay, the inside is too hot. It's too hot. Hold on. His toes are like literally hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I can't swim. It's too deep. It's too deep for the bulldogs. It's too deep for the bulldogs. I promise. You can't get in here. Another workstation. Wonderful folks at Rove provided these literally throughout this entire house. Meat balls just following me, skipping out of things. And then as we go down this hallway. Are setting out for guard dogs. Any space that these guys occupy, they protect. <laughs> as they do that, I'm gonna take you guys bedroom where Michonne and I spent the last few days. So really out of this entire house, we just occupied this space. And I love how it's decorated. Like, all the furnishings are pretty nice and modern. There's another workstation. This is where all my work happened. Well, and, uh, and I'll show you guys Meatball's favorite. Our Frenchie absolutely loved this deck because it's private. It gave him some time to hang out and take a look at these views. Every time I step out on this upstairs patio, I could see what Meatballs saw in these views. They were spanning with many, many live elements, rolling greens, mountain tops. We were centrally located really close to everything and you could see the Olympic Park right there in the distance with all of these grassy fields, the river, mountain tops everywhere. It was absolutely breathtaking. We both tried to enjoy the scenery every chance that he could. Can you really blame him? One great thing about Park City is abundance of great food. So <clears throat> we just stopped downtown at Harvest and because we have these guys and the baby, it's a lot easier to just eat in the truck, order stuff to go in the truck. How's your food? So good. Some some sort of breakfast brioche? Yeah, it's delicious. And I got a salmon bowl. So go look at that. We're gonna stuff our faces now. Got a ticket. Get one of these lovely tickets at that booth back there. And I think, I think we have to head in the direction of the lift. It's a, it's a 
believe there's a chairlift that takes us up, actually. We're about to find out. You guys are about to learn with me. I know that Michonne is probably more excited than any of the kids behind me, so I can't wait for her to experience it. She'll be the second one to go because she's sitting here with Roxana right now as, uh, as I film this. Now it's my turn and I'm super stoked. I hear people like screaming below me as they coast her down and I'm super excited. They've got these like levers, I'll try to show you. These levers that you you push forward to go, I think it govern, governs out at 30 miles per hour. And, oh. I'm just, the cables, oh my gosh. There's people screaming all over. So it governs you out. Oh, there's like wildlife all over below me. This is so cool. So it's, it's a little bit of a hike when you arrive here. So can everybody who is in a cart hear me? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Welcome to the mountain coaster. Uh, first things first are your controls. They're gonna be by your side. Uh, pushing those levers forward is gonna make you guys speed up and pulling them backwards to where they're at now is gonna make you guys slow down. Uh, on the way up the hill, you guys don't have to do anything. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Don't have to touch the levers. Uh, when you guys get to the top, there's a sign on your left hand side that says push your levers forward. That's where we want you guys to push your levers forward and enjoy the downhill. Coming downhill, we recommend that you guys go as fast as possible. Faster is safer, it is also funner, so go fast. Uh, on the way down, or I already did that. When you guys get down to the bottom, the bottom is designated by some yellow you? rings. Good. Inside that yellow zone, you guys should slow. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. And remember, have tons of fun. Thanks, man. This is so red. It's uh, it's raining a little bit. I'm glad that these guys were cool about the GoPro and didn't hassle me because you're supposed to keep all of your belongings clinched tightly and I guess I'll just clinch this handle in between my thighs so that it's not going anywhere. Check out the scenery. sliding by. <clears throat> That's awesome. Take a look at this climb. Someone just flew by me up above. There's little squirrels and chickmunks all over right below your feet. So I think I've been getting pulled up for about 10 minutes to the top. And as you can see, the track's like all over. Let's see if we can see anyone racing down. Such a beautiful day. So this is the, the boring part of the coaster, you're just going up the entire time. It's on the way down that you get to, you get to haul. It's uh, mild 75 degrees right now and it's just sprinkling rain just a little bit so I would say would highly, highly recommend this experience if you're just you know, considering coming out to Park City and looking at these awesome mountain views. I would for sure add this to your bucket list. I think the ticket only sent me back like 35 bucks and I'm not even to the exciting part of this coaster yet and it's already been kind of awesome. That kid was having fun. <laughs> Thank you.
faster than anticipated. Definitely a thumbs up rating for this one. I just got, got done and I 1010 recommend. That ride was awesome, so much fun. And if you have the opportunity to go, don't be afraid to go, to keep the levers forward and go as fast as you can the whole time. It was a blast. Are you guys ready to eat some breakfast? Is that your favorite part of the day? We have some ground beef with sweet potatoes, raw. What do you think? What about your brother? Is your brother gonna eat? Meepo likes to be a little picky, especially in the morning. Come here, Sonny. Meat. We both come eat. There we go. Let's show a small spoon. This guy is very particular about how he gets fed. Come eat. Are you over this food? Come on, have a bite. This guy, however, if you could use a shovel to feed him, that would probably be even better. <laughs> we raw feed our boys, we prepare their food and freeze it. And this guy gets treated like a king and he's still super picky. There you go, that's it. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you're thinking about <clears throat> buying a second home in Park City, relocating to Southern Utah, maybe doing both or any of the above, or if you're just looking at this area and you have a lot of questions, please reach out to me. I will contact, post my contact information in the description below this video. So if you have any questions at all, please shoot me a DM, text me, call me, email me, whatever method of communication you prefer. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.